What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on to the next question. We're told a right triangle has the smallest sides measure at a length of root 108 and root 12. Find the perimeter and area in simplest radical form. So first thing I'm going to do is draw a diagram of this. So this is a right triangle, a right angled triangle. And obviously the longest side of a right angle triangle is the hypotenuse. And we're told the smallest sides measure at a length of root 108 and root 12. So this is like root 108, and this is root 12. And we're asked to find the perimeter and area in simplest radical form. Well, let's start off with the perimeter. In order to find the perimeter, we're going to have to add all three sides. But notice this side we don't have at the moment. So we got to find this side here, x, the hypotenuse. And we can use the Pythagoras theorem to do that. So x squared is basically equal to root 12 squared plus root 108 squared. And as we know, the square root of anything squared is just whatever is inside the radical. So root 12 squared is just 12. And then root 108 squared is just 108. So adding these two, we end up with 120. So x squared is 120. So that means x is root 120. So let's label that length here for the hypotenuse. So we got root 120. And now let's get into what we have to solve for. So the perimeter, to start with the perimeter, it's basically all of the sides added together. So root 12 plus root 108 plus root 120. Do we leave the answer like that? Well, no, we have to check if we can simplify further because they want the answers in simplest radical form. So if you remember from adding or subtracting radicals, you always want to simplify the radicals and see if there's any like terms, any radicals that are the same. So this root 12, we can break down into root 4 times root 3. This root 108, we could break down into, uh, I think, 36 and 3. 36 times 3 gives us 108. So that works. And then uh, root 120, we could break that down into what? Root 4 times root 30. 4 times 30 gives us uh, 120. And then the root 30, we can't break that down any further. Uh, 30 is not dividable by a rootable number, whether that's 4, 9, 16, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so here, root 4 is 2. Root 3 can't simplify that further. Root 36 is 6. Root 3 can't simplify that further. And then root 4 is 2. And then the root 30 can't simplify that further. So from here, notice that these two are like terms. They have the same radical, so we could add the coefficients in front. So 2 plus 6 gives us 8. The radical stays the same. Plus 2 root 30. Uh, these two are not like terms. Root 30 and root 3 are not like terms, so we have to keep them separate. So that there is your final answer for the perimeter in simplest radical form. What about the area? Well, we know the area is equal to what? Base times height divided by 2. Well, what's the base in this case? The base is this root 108. But uh, instead of putting root 108, let's just put the simplest uh, radical form for root 108. So root 108, we already broke down into 6 root 3 here. So instead of putting root 108, I'm going to put 6 root 3. And then the height is this root 12. Instead of putting root 12, I'm going to put 2 root 3. And then we're going to be dividing by 2. And then notice here, 6 times 2 gives us 12. Root 3 times root 3 gives us just 3. And then we're dividing by 2. 12 times 3 is 36 divided by 2 gives us 18. 
So 18 units, there's no units given in this question, so just units squared. That is the area right there, right? So we could have also took root 12 multiplied by root 108. That would give us some big number. Uh, and then dividing it by two, we would end up with 18. But uh, either way, you could plug this whole expression to your calculator, or you could plug in root 12 times root 108 divided by two, you should end up getting 18 every time.